Coach uh, Brett Popovich just said a second ago that the Mavs organization should be very proud of this group and how they were able to come together at the end of the season and really push the Spurs. Just talk about how this team competed in the series to really push the top seed. Yeah, I, you know, we came together at the beginning of the year with nine new guys. Uh, there were a lot of questions about a lot of things. And, uh, you know, the guys just worked to stay together and become a more together group. And uh, as the season went on, there was growth. Um, and there were a lot of hard games. Um, and there were a lot of hard games to just get to the playoffs. And, you know, for most groups, it would have been okay just to get here, um, you know, with, with what we had been through. But our guys really, you know, really pointed toward, you know, how can we win the series? You know, what can we do? And they knew they were going to have to dig deep and, and do a lot of things that were uh, unconventional. And, you know, we gave ourselves a chance. And, uh, you know, today uh, we just uh, we got hit by a tidal wave early. Um, they, had a, they had their best game today. And, uh, you know, we just, uh, we just weren't able to do quite enough to stay in it early. I, although, you know, I like the way we ended the half and I like the way we started the third quarter. But, um, Look, they, uh, they're, they're the best of the best, and they, they've been great for a long time, and uh, we respect the heck out of San Antonio. Um, and, you know, they've got a great chance moving forward, obviously. But I'm real, but I'm real proud. I'm real proud of, of our guys and uh, what we were able to, to do, even though we didn't get to the next step. And if I could, I'd like to wish Abby Carlisle Happy 10th birthday. Uh, <laughs> Love you. Rick, could you talk about how you guys were affected by the early foul trouble by Monte? Well, it, you know, the early stuff was tough. Um, there were a few fouls that, uh, you know, we had disagreements on. Um, you know, Monte had a, got a couple quick ones. Uh, they got to the bonus pretty early. But look, you know that on the road, particularly in, in the playoffs, and particularly in the Game 7, you may have to weather a storm. Um, we were trying like heck to weather it, and it was tough. You know, it was just tough. Um, we do, we do uh, you know, three good things, and then they do two better things, you know. Um, and so that was, it was kind of an uphill climb the whole way, but there was not one point in that game where anybody on our team stopped battling, stopped fighting, you know, and stopped trying to win, and that's... You know, that's what you got to do, and it's hard. It's hard when you get hit with an onslaught early the way the guys did, but, uh, you know, they just uh, they kept competing, and I was proud of the way they competed even though we didn't play a very good game. Rick, you often say that uh, the Mavs are a championship franchise and have those standards. What has to happen for your franchise this summer to take the, uh, the strides necessary to get back to that level? Well... You know, Mark said a few words to the team afterwards, and, and I think one of the things that we would like to do is get some more continuity. Um, you know, it's two years in a row. We added eight new guys last year and then nine this year, and uh, Mark and I both and Donnie all gr agree that, you know, the more continuity that we can have going forward, the better. It's one thing that they've done so well here um, for so many years. And so we'll work to get back as many of these guys as we can. we got a lot of free agents. Um, I'd love to have them. <coughs> I mean, you know, I mean, Marion's had five great years here. Uh, Carter's had three great, great years here. Harris came in this year with a lot of questions about his his health. Had a had a very you know uh, very unconventional, unpredictable surgery on his foot. He fought back and became a, a real big factor for us. Um, you know, Blair's a free agent and he he played big for us. And there's a, there's there's a few other guys that I'm missing, but. Uh, the whiskey, <laughs> Turk the whiskey, about one of the top greatest, greatest players in history. I mean, we got to get him back. And you know, the one thing that I know after six years of being with Dirk, you know, I don't know what's going to happen as far as how much money we can pay him, but whatever it is, it won't be enough because he has such high impact on everything that goes on with our team. Uh, and everything that goes on with our organization, and so I know we'll get that done, and I know he, you know, I know he wants to be back and everything. But uh, I've never seen a player. You now this is 30 years for me in the league. You know, and I played with Bird, and you know, and I played with uh, with some great guys. Um, 
there's nobody I've been around that carries a bigger load for a franchise or an organization than Dirk Nowitzki. And I mean, I, I just I can't say in, in words how much respect I have for him and what he stands for and everything he's done for this organization and for me. You know, in six years, and he's got a lot of good years left. I think that's pretty evident. Can you take a few more? Monte struggled today, but I wonder if you could discuss the strides that he made this year and what he did for the organization. Yeah, and I, Monte made great strides, and we threw a lot at him. I mean, you know, from a from a standpoint of you know conditioning and uh, you know different approach defensively and a lot of a lot of things. You know, um, it was more than he's ever had to absorb. But he's the only guy on the team that played 82 games. Um, he played hurt. And I would even say that he played injured in those three games before the All-Star break. I couldn't believe he played in those games. But him playing, you know, helped us win two out of those three. And, and ultimately, if he hadn't played, you know, we may, not, we, did, we, may, we may not have gotten over the hump to get to the playoffs. So, you know, he did a lot of things that uh, were intangible, that were important. And, you know, at 28 years old, he's got a lot of great years left. He's really just entering his prime. Um, and there's some things that uh, that we can do to, to help him get even better. Rick, when a team gets hit, uh, as you put it, with a tidal wave like that, is it uh, is it something mental, or is it the, the lack of defense, or what? Well, it was the force that they hit us with, and really it was you know as much offensive force as it was defensive. But they were they were great on defense early too. And when we had good shots, we had trouble getting them in. Um, and then they created great momentum going the other way, and Parker got going early. And they got too many easy ones. That was the problem. Um, and so, you know, it was tough. I mean, I, you know, we used, we had two timeouts remaining in the game at halftime, which has never happened to me. Um, you know, that's how it was. And, and look, at, at halftime, we, we came out, we started the small group. You know, we got to 14 right away. Um, you know, but they answered back. I mean, they, they, they adjusted their lineup and attacked, and, and they got the ball in the basket, and it was just tough, you know. So, um, you know, we walk away from this uh, disappointed, certainly, um, but not dismayed. I mean, uh, you know, the way, the way the guys competed was, was, uh, was terrific. Anybody else? Thank you. All right, thanks.